Hi, how would you like to draw diagrams online for free, very similar to what Visio offers? This is Neil Walters with NeilsVideos.com, and in this video I want to show you how you can draw online. So there's a cool website called Draw.io, and one of the things I like about it is you can actually save your diagrams on Google Drive itself, or you can store them on OneDrive, Dropbox, or your own computer. So I'm going to check uh, Google Drive, and I have to authorize and tell them it's okay for them to do that. Okay, so I did that authorization offline, and now it says you want to create a new diagram or open an existing one. And just to show you what's possible, let me open an existing one. And these are the three diagrams I've done so far. And let's pick this one on PBM Demo. I did a video a few weeks ago on private blog networks. And so this is how I drew it. I came here to draw I.O., and this is what I drew. And so real quick, I don't want to mess this diagram up, so what I'm going to do is create another one now. So I'm going to say File New, Blank Diagram, Create. And I actually created a folder on my Google Drive called Drive.io, Drive just so I would easily put all my drawings together. And there are different templates you can choose from. I'm just going to choose the blank generic template here. Okay, so let's just say you want to put a square on the screen, a rectangle. This is your rectangle. Now you want to put a color on it. So you hit blue, for instance. And now you want another rectangle. And you want that one to be yellow. And so that's how easy this kind of thing is. And then you want to connect them together. You take this little connection here. And you notice one end of it has an arrow. And you can connect that to the dot down there and then connect this up here. And then like Visio, what's cool about it is, that one see wasn't quite connected. There's actually a way to, oops, that was unexpected. You click this and you drag it down here and see when that colors to uh, the green border, then they're connected. So now, no matter where you move these two around the screen, they're permanently attached to each other with that arrow. You don't have to worry about them becoming disconnected. <clears throat> you have to excuse my voice. I'm getting a little hoarse this week. I don't know why. And now you can put... Uh, words inside of these of course like you could call this uh, my company and you could build a little org chart here you could call this this is my uh, uh, finance department for instance and then you could come over here and drag another box and say this is my uh, we've got finance uh, sales department and of course you can resize these anytime you want to like this and sometimes when you realign these things, it'll snap to the size of the guy next to it. So you can e more easily make them the same size. And I'm going to click this and do a copy-paste, Control-C, Control-V. And now I have another arrow, and I'm going to hook it up over here and hook it there as well. And I just like to test it make sure they're really connected that way. And so this is how you build a simple diagram. There's, a, there's, of course, many other different shapes over here. You have parallelograms. You've got clouds you could use for the Internet. You have uh, cylinders, which are uh, often, often used for disk drives. Uh, they call this a rhombus, a, a diamond shape, which is used for decision shape in a typical flow chart. And, of course, there's many other different uh, options over here. Oh, arrows. Let's look at arrows. So here you have big arrows, too, like... What I did here was I used these little, these are like arrows that join boxes together. But if you just want to point at something, you can use this type of arrow. And let's say you wanted this arrow to point to the left here. What you do is you hold down your control key and you grab that little circle there and see so you can spin the arrow around. So now you want to put it straight left. See, that gives you the percentage of the angle right there. So when it's at 90 degrees exactly, that's when it's horizontal. And then you can, now see it doesn't connect to these other objects like these arrows do. So this arrow serves a slightly different purpose. So there's a lot more you can do with this. I'm just giving you the high level overview in this video. Just go to Draw.io and uh, give it a try. And again, use your Google account to log on and actually store the diagrams to your Google Drive or your OneBox. Or you can store them on your hard drive as well if that's what you want. So this has been Neil with another cool video from neilsvideos.com. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.